Just taking a quick look at this new Jackery 2000 Plus. <laughs> so this is a, I can't believe it. Honestly, I just can't believe it. You know, so the big news is Jackery is finally going LFP, right? So LifePo battery in this thing. And um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's basically the same case as the 3000 Pro that came out recently. Just uh, less capacity, but, you know, with those bigger, bigger LFP cells, um, that's, that's a trade-off a lot of people have been asking for and would, would take, right? <laughs> and uh, so this is interesting, too, because, you know, a lot of people find a way, you know, for whatever reason to complain about Jackery. You know, the, people love to hate on Jackery. So this is, this will be super interesting to kind of see what people say about this thing because there's not too much to complain about, right? Um, this, is, this is a pretty capable system, and it pretty much just checks all the boxes, right? So, yeah, let's just kind of um, get into it a little bit here. You know, obviously, as, as I mentioned, the big news, the LFP batteries. And um, something also interesting here that actually is pretty innovative, as, as, as they say, innovative. They call it Charge Shield. Um, basically, it, it's it's kind of like a sophisticated algorithm that actually a lot of electric cars have for, for charging the batteries, especially when you plug them into, like, the DC fast chargers, which, you know, this thing can charge. And we'll, we'll talk about the charging here in a second, but, you know, it can do the fast charge in about two hours. Um, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, basically this, uh, this charge shield technology, it'll, if you, if you've seen those, uh, kind of like charge curves on, on electric cars, you know, basically instead of having like a set input, right. I mean, um, like maybe I think this thing tops out at like 1800 Watts from the wall. Now, of course you can change that in the app, but, um, you know, if you had it set at the, the max speed, 1800 Watts, it wouldn't always charge at 1800 Watts, right. It would kind of, um, you know, depending on, basically depending on the percentage the battery's at, the temperature of the battery cells, it will actually vary that, uh, you know, automatically for you. So, um, you know, basically if, if it's good to go, if it's good, to, you know, just pump those the full power into it, uh, you know, it'll do that. Or if the, the cells start getting warm or, you know, it starts getting, you know, near 100% or something like that, <laughs> you know, it'll basically slow it down automatically. But um, so just to kind of get into the specs here, um, it's good specs. It's very good specs, actually. And, uh, you know, 3,000 watt inverter. So we still get that 3,000 watt inverter, even though the capacity is down to 2,000, little, you know, 2,042, basically 2,000 watt hours with those new LFP batteries. And the charging, you know, we'll kind of talk about all this stuff a little bit more, but it's basically the same as, same as it was. You know, for, um, yeah, let's just, okay, for the solar, big news is the, you know, for the solar, you want to know about the solar, it's up to 1400 watts. But remember, um, you know, up to 1400 watts, Jackery has those dual inputs, you know, so it's actually like 700 each. And the voltage range is actually 11 to 60 volts on both of those. So, you know, it's pretty good. Um, it's actually really good. <laughs> you know, it's really good. And yes, there are expandable batteries with the system. And there is a parallel function as well. Um, you know, they're mentioning here, you know, 6,000 watts. Um, you know, the inverter does 3,000 watts continuous, 6,000 surge. But, but actually, you can do uh, 6,000 watts continuous if you get, uh, I don't know why they're mentioning it on this image here. But uh, if, you get, if you get two of these things, you can get uh, this parallel kit that is going to be available, I think. I don't know if it's going to be available at launch, but... <laughs> basically you know you can hook them up both together and then you can you know do the 6,000 watts and they do say that this uh, parallel kit thing is going to be able to output uh, 240 volts as well so I'm not sure if that's if they're going to actually have a split phase hookup for that you know to have both or, or what but so we'll have to kind of see on that but, but you know still a lot of people would be interested in that and you can get crazy. <laughs> you can get crazy with the system. Uh, you know, you can you can get five extra. You know what they're saying here: five extra batteries per um, every two thousand plus unit, right? So in this case, they're showing yes, they've got two of the main units there, and then they've got five batteries on each one. So you know, for a total of ten, and all in, you know, you can get up to twenty four kilowatt hours. So yes, that's a that's a pretty serious system. And uh, you can get, you can actually go real crazy with the solar and stuff too, uh, as as they show in the background. We'll, we'll kind of talk about you know the extra batteries here more in a second, but just to kind of give you a little teaser, yes, each extra battery can uh, charge with the the same input, the, the up to fourteen hundred watts of solar. So um, 
you know, you could do the math on this. Uh, 1,400 times, I don't know, 10, 12? 12, 14, yeah, because the 10 and the 10 batteries and the two units, uh, 14, actually, I don't even know. It's, it's a crazy number, right? <laughs> uh, you know, it's a crazy amount of solar you could put into this thing. And then, yes, just for those of you wondering, um, they do have these kind of cables that stick out the back. Now, for the extra batteries, this is actually kind of a uh, kind of kind of cool. So <laughs> check it out. They do actually have this little uh, actual percentage screen on this thing. You know, a lot of these extra batteries, they just give you little indicator lights, right? So that's that's kind of a nice little touch. And as I mentioned, this thing is it's basically you know it's the same specs as the main unit, except without the inverter, really. Uh, 2,000 watt hours, you know, LFP battery, and those same those same inputs. So let's just you know let's just kind of um, yeah. So <laughs> the same inputs, but the only thing is it doesn't have the actual you know AC input. If you want to charge it from the wall, you know you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to hook them hook it up to the main unit to do that. The big news is that you know it does allow that kind of independent fast charge with those same dual inputs, right? The same, uh, well, you know, the car is always going to be slow, but, you know, the same for solar. You're going to want to use this with solar, right? <laughs> you know, uh, the same inputs, you know, those two, again, just, you know, 1,400 watts total, uh, 700 each, you know, two two of those. So, yeah, you know, you know, good stuff. And like I said, if you've got a lot of these extra batteries, that's, a you know, a lot of solar. And so this thing is going to launch, I, I think, on the 19th, June 19th. So you have up until the end of the day of June 18th, the end of the day, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. You have to check, you know, but basically they're doing this, uh, you know, where you buy the, if you spend a dollar, you can buy this coupon that will give you up to $4.99 off. Now that, you know, how much you get off kind of depends on the bundle you get. They do kind of have, you know, again, you have to look through this, but they do kind of have a couple of different bundles to choose from and then of course it'll you know it'll be available on amazon probably june 19th as well so they you know a lot of times they have a discount and sale on the, on amazon too for the launch as far as what i've seen like as far as the reliability goes you know as far as these things just working as advertised uh jackery seems to be one of the the top brands for that so um you know now there's there's really no reason i don't think there's any reason not to consider this at least consider it you know, there's a, there's so many good options out there nowadays, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's good, gonna be hard to beat this. You know, if you want something portable with a pretty big inverter, right, and uh, potentially a huge amount of solar that you can do. So yeah, hopefully, you just kind of found this uh, this overview helpful, interesting, whatever. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.